Hi, I'm Jill Eckert with PCRM. Welcome. Today we are making Save the Tuna Salad, a delicious recipe from Chris Carr's new book, Crazy Sexy Kitchen. You've got to get your hands on this great book. Chris Carr is one of our 21 Day Kickstart coaches and I'm so glad to hear that she has new recipes and more tips than ever for us. So let's get started. The basis for this recipe are nuts and seeds. So to get started, we have our almonds and our sunflower seeds. We've covered them with water and let them sit for a few hours. And if you want, you can let them sit overnight as well. And then we've drained it and food processed it. So it's this nice coarse looking, it looks so good. Now we're gonna add our veggies in. So we'll go ahead and put our celery, mince nicely. A little bit of red onion. And my favorite are fresh herbs, oregano and dill smells so good. And then we're going to add some binding ingredients. So some chopped pickles or pickle relish. You can use as much or as little as you like. Really adds a really nice flavor. Some fresh ground pepper. Some kelp granules. Maybe this is new to you, but it's a seaweed and it adds a nice oceany flavor to it. So we're going to go ahead and add a generous amount of that in here. A little bit of agave. This is optional. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. And that's all of our ingredients except for the lemon juice, which is going to hold everything together really nicely. And we'll get all this mixed up. It's already starting to look like tuna salad and it's a whole lot healthier too. If you'd like to keep this recipe a bit lower in fat, you can substitute the nuts and seeds for garbanzo beans, blend it up the same way in the food processor, add the veggies and seasonings, and you'll be good to go. Look how pretty this looks. I can't wait to try all the other recipes in Chris's new book. It's really exciting. All right, so I think we're pretty well blended here. And your options for serving, you have a lot of them. You can do a sandwich style with uh, any kind of bread you want, or you can put it on a, let of, a bed of lettuce or a collard green wrap. So we'll show you what it looks like to do both. All right, so let's get our sandwich ready here. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait for you guys to try this at home. It's actually really simple. And if you don't have time to soak the nuts overnight, that's totally fine. A few hours will do just fine. Oh, we don't want to lose that bit there. So you can serve it on this nice bed of lettuce if you like. Just like that. All right, well, thanks for joining me. Please try this recipe at home. Get your hand on Chris Carr's new book and join us for more recipes and information at PCRM.org.